I am grateful to you, and I am not asking you for advice in any case, and I will not say that you said something, I did something, and that's how it turned out. As for what you say, I have a large deposit, I can work without shoulders at all, in principle. Yes, then it's better to go straight to the spot, that is, there is no point in using teachers here. But you see, what's the matter? Here, dear interlocutor, is it impossible to go to sleep in a short? But you can. Only for this you need to have coins. So it's the same thing. Well, here's a good point, yes. On futures, here you are a good moment. I watched your head of the academy. He also says that he recently invented a spot short for himself. And let's say I have a coin. Now just a second, I know for sure that it is there. Russian Russian thought, let's say, here's one inch, everything is fine, we put a short one inch, and then I have well. Is the balance shown just for this coin? Yes, absolutely. And we are putting, let's say, just for the sake of experiment. But look here. By the way, we have come to a very interesting key moment with you. I have this coin alone now in drawdown. Drawdowns, and it is not clear when it will come out of this drawdown. The question is that I have two options. The first option is to sit and average. And wait. And wait, yes, and wait and average, which in principle if. Well, I'm not talking about this coin of the bath and the kitchen. It's old and with history and with the community and with technology. I'm just saying, well, I have coins. I'm a fan of all sorts of chitcons there, which in principle have been forgotten. And they are slowly going down from the cats. Because averaging is not ours in theirs. Then you can just average, but he won't go up. And the second point, I don't understand this moment, but maybe I'm right, that this is exactly how to short it, and make a profit. Well, in dollars it turns out, then, let there be a profit. That's what, how, what? Oh yes, you can cheat if you have a coin. How does it work? Here you have literally these coins in your hands. You are selling them right now at the current price. So. And then you buy them off at a lower price. It turns out that you have a difference of this amount. Well, imagine you have 10 coins there. You've just sold them for 100, each of them right. And you have money in your hands. And then when the price becomes 90, you buy them back. The same amount, the same 10 coins, but already 90. Accordingly, you have this difference of 10 in the form of US in your hands and the same number of coins. That is, in fact, you have coins. The number of coins does not change. But when trading in short, you will simply have additional funds already. That is, it is in TT. If you specify in TT, well, you can also specify on the spot in which currency you want to make a profit. But in this case, it is better, of course, to specify in the TT since you want to make a profit in it. And if the price on the contrary is not, it will not reach 90, but will go to 110. Well, it's just waiting here. If the order is open, then just wait or cancel the order. Well, in this case, look, at the very beginning, he will sell already, that is your 10 coins. Let's say he sells any 10 coins right now, well, knowing that's how he will get a signal, and sell at the current price, right? Imagine, he received a signal and sold at the current price now, taking into account the fact that he will then buy them off when it goes lower. So, but... That is, he immediately puts up an order for, well, imagine, he puts up an order for 90. That is, now you have it in your hands with TT, those with TT that you sold it for, well, which you received when selling coins. And immediately, an order is placed for their repurchase, but at a lower price. In order for you to have a difference in the price of this and the same number of coins that was before. But there is a nuance. The fact that I bought Van Inch at 120 
Now this coin is worth a hundred, that is, an already minus twenty. Me. This. Already implemented, yes. I sell it for a hundred. She doesn't go down to ninety, but goes to the same one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty, one hundred and fifty. As a result, I kind of fixed it. Yes. Your minus twenty dollars loss. Yes, that's right. But unfortunately, this is how the market works. Absolutely, absolutely. But I know that you have tremendous experience, that you have been consulting for a long time, and how experienced users solve the problem when they are in a drawdown for a particular coin on the spot. They just happen, well, in completely different ways, even experienced ones, even those who have been rating for a long time and earn a lot in everyone's briefcase. In any case, there is absolutely not only some profitable ones, absolutely, and therefore, it already depends on risk management, that is, someone he just holds, thinking that yes, maybe someday he will become taller, yes, someone just sells right now, because they understand that it will be even worse from now on. <sighs> therefore, here of course, everything really depends on your risk management. Unfortunately, there is no such ideal formula for earning money, but to use them of course in positions, well more precisely in transactions, is a very good option. That is, if you already have a coin, then you think that most likely it will go lower with some probability, then yes, you can just short this coin. Well, imagine, let's say this coin, yes, let's take the same numbers back, it still went down to the 90s. We got this difference in dollars, and you have the same number of coins back, but imagine that after that it increased back. In other words, it's like you can't really guess when this will happen, but there are already such risks here. And what if I have 10 coins, which are now in severe minuses? And there is such a one on all exchanges, they're OK, X, Cocaine, Binance, there are bots, smart bots. Smart bots are called. Their meaning is that they take 10 coins there, for ease of calculation, and make a shift. That is, one coin has grown, it has been sold, another coin has been bought. Another coin has grown, another coin has bought there. And each coin should have a total balance in the basket, about a certain percentage value there. Whether it's 5 or 6, it doesn't matter, it can be any percentage. This is because I have, well, there are not 10, more than 10 unprofitable coins that are in deep drawdown. It is unclear when I will get out of it. Maybe with the help of your service, I can somehow set up some bot for these 10 coins so that it somehow rebalances them like this. That is, one of these coins shows growth. It averages another coin that is not growing yet, that has already gone up, which has averaged, averaging the third coin, and thereby I am possible. I probably quite agree that I'm talking absolute nonsense right now, but by doing so, I'm kind of growing. What do you think? You said that these are some kind of bots on the exchanges. Yes, exactly. I just didn't quite understand the beginning. Yes, well, let's just assume that, for example. <laughs> like this. Most often, well, it's just on exchanges. Unfortunately, I can't advise on bots there, but you probably mean when a pair of coins is used for a coin on the spot market. That is, you are not using with TT. That is like inch with TT. In this case, you are using the concept coin. I'm sorry, just a second. No, oh, it's a little wrong. I understand what you're talking about perfectly, but it's a little bit wrong. But now I'm going to show you. Just for a second, I'm just going to show you. The fact that, well, they can't count on it there, I put it, but they don't want 10,000. That is, 10,000 it doesn't work either. 